My name is Leo Lloyd. I'm the EMS training uh, captain with Durango Fire and Rescue. I'm also the technical response coordinator. And we are an all hazard department and, and we're tasked with dealing with all kinds of uh, different scenarios, hazards, including EMS, fire, technical rescue. And today we're heading up to the Falls Creek subdivision to conduct an ice rescue uh, scenario based exercise. So today our scenario is going to be a child that has broken, fallen through the ice on a pond. Uh, his father has witnessed this and has tried to, in effect, a rescue alone. He has also fallen in the, uh, through the ice in a different location. When we get on scene, it's probably going to be several minutes uh, that this has occurred. Uh, we're taking the Ocean 8 raft out here. We're going to swing wide. We're going to rescue the kid first. Way back, we're gonna grab uh, Scott here. The child is gonna be face down in the water, um, which essentially is gonna be a drowning. A father, obviously very distraught, unable to self-rescue, is, is uh, in the water as well. So one of our main objectives is, once we get on scene, is safely securing the scene, uh, communicating with the father, getting a time frame of when this happened, and then making a decision on what type of rescue this is going to be. All right, typically after a scenario that, uh, like this, uh, we will have a comprehensive debrief with the participants involved and uh, allow them to share what they felt went well, what we can improve on, um, and uh, lessons learned from, from this scenario. So what this will give our teams uh, an opportunity to do is uh, go through their, our procedures in, in uh, safely implementing an ice rescue and then dealing with a potential hypothermic or even a cold water drowning as it pertains to the scenario. So just a uh, reminder, try to be safe this time of year. Um, when we do have ice on ponds and lakes, probably the most uh, hazardous times are early season and then in the spring when things start to break up. So be safe out there and don't hesitate to call if you need any help. Thanks.